ladies and gentlemen, um, Miss Marilyn Carlson Nelson, thank you. Well, Torsten, you asked, why Minnesota when you're targeting all the leading cities of the world? This is the leading city of the world. <laughs> and then he asked, should we have another hotel? As Bonnie pointed out, we have one of everything of our brands, maybe even two. Well, remember what Mae West said? Why should we build more hotels here of our Carlson Hotels? Too much of a good thing is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> So I saw a bumper sticker earlier this week, and it said, I love my country, but I think we should start seeing other people. <laughs> if you want to see other people, I think you better come to this Radisson Blue at the Mall of America, because you're going to enjoy seeing people from every corner of the globe here. And that's our global audience. Those are our customers around the world. And this is our community that's going to welcome them with open arms. I happen to believe that uh, business can be one of the greatest powers for good. And I think you can see that here today as you see how business working together along with partnerships has brought more vitality to this community, continues to partner, and seems to be able to solve problems, even Bob, if they take a while, and Dave, seems to be able to solve problems and commit to solutions that are powerful on behalf of the whole. And this project brings a lot of excitement. I'm sure there's a couple somewhere uh, looking at us today thinking about growing these brands in our beloved Minnesota. But I know that it also brings satisfaction to us because of these partnerships. And you've heard each of the partners acknowledged. But what we haven't really acknowledged is, in a very interesting way, these are multi-generational relationships. Sometimes we're so quick to give up or to think that things should happen in a few days or a few months. And in fact, um, David's father and Glenn have been friends for over 50 years. Um, we were partners when we built the country. We're in a second generation relationship, even a third generation relationship. We were here working on the Mall of America. We've been partnering in our family and in our company with, with the various trades through the years at our properties. We together are going to build and create 280 new jobs in our hotel, something almost similar, 250 to 280 new jobs in the trades. Now I have a message for some of my friends on the Itasca Job Task Force. I'm doing my part. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you to Triple Five, thank you to Mortensen, thank you to our family who continues to believe in this community. Nothing can make a parent happier than to see their children believe in and dedicate themselves and their investment to building a community and to fulfilling a dream that was established, what now, they will be the third generation uh, building here in this community. And I have to say thank you to Bonnie Carlson. I don't know, she never gets any older. So what it is, maybe it's all the good shopping. <laughs> but whatever it is, um, I think somebody needs to acknowledge that Bonnie Carlson has been a fantastic, fantastic advocate for this community. And I have seen her advocate for our community all over the world. Um, often they thought we were sisters, and I was pretty proud to claim that. Uh, you heard a little earlier uh, from in Senator Klobuchar's letter about the role of travel and tourism. But not everybody recognizes that travel and tourism really is a significant creator of jobs. In fact, in Minnesota, it's the fifth largest industry. We generate $11 billion in annual sales and employ 238,000 Minnesotans. That is a lot of people. You've heard about what the project is going to do, but what you don't always think about is the local florists 
the people who do the linen, the people who actually build all the materials, the, the, the soft goods that come into the hotel. You don't think of people like Ecolab who, who provides all of our cleaning uh, supplies. So the economic reach of travel and hospitality is deep and it's vital to our state and it's vital to our nation. I've often told our people that it's really interesting when we go to international meetings, how many of the emerging countries are urging us to come, are urging us to build properties. Because if we do, the travelers come. And if the travelers come, they bring currency and they stimulate infrastructure development and they create jobs in a world that is crying for jobs. In fact, as much as we believe in philanthropy, we know that the very best philanthropy is a job. Today, Carlson has more than 1,070 hotels, including the country and suites next door, more than 900 TGI Fridays restaurants, so you could stop in after this and have a little dinner. My, my dad wouldn't forgive me if I missed a sales opportunity. So we are the global leader. We own a majority stake in Carlson Vagonly Travel, and they're now the global leader in business travel management. We operate in 70 uh, countries, as you heard, with hotels, but with all of our operations, we operate in 150 countries, and we have 170,000 people who work in our brands. And we take that very, very seriously. So that's what we all, working together, are going to do. We are going to add value. We're going to create jobs. We're going to create economic, economic vitality. It's been a very exciting journey. When my father bought the first hotel downtown, it was named Radisson, after the 17th century French explorer, Pierre Esprit Radisson for whom the hotel and the flagship brand was named. And in a coincidental twist, if you believe in coincidence, our journey forward is now being led by another fantastic Frenchman, our chief executive officer, and I hope he'll stand so you can make him feel welcome, bienvenue, Hubert Jolie, who is... <laughs> I remember when I became CEO, my dad said, she's going to take this company to places it's never been before. And that's how we feel about Hubert. He has been growing our brands with great vitality. He came from Carlson Vag Only, where he actually was the one who was really responsible for making it the leading global corporate travel company. And now you just watch. The Radisson Blue brand is going to be across the world. And by the way, David, it actually was blue before we saw your logo. <laughs> so, in 2014, the Radisson Blue Doors will open here to families from Minnesota who come together to mark special occasions, like shopping. They will open to visitors from around the region, the nation, and the world who will take back home with them the memory of our vibrant, welcoming community and they will open to the economic vitality so necessary to accelerate our state's forward movement for decades to come. As the Radisson Blue name implies, the sky is the limit. Thank you.